welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well and I hope you're staying safe. If you're probably wondering why I'm still in the same outfit from my last video or one of my last videos where we discussed the vertebrae, that's because I'm filming it on the same day because um, I'm having surgery on June 18th and uh, I need content. Hi! <laughs> Uh, right with this in the washroom. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to film all of these videos, um, before I go for surgery so that I have the content ready for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna be afterwards, so I figured I'd sit down and film them while I can. Excuse me, while I can, and, you know, I'm in a, like, a really good movie, movie? Filming mood. <laughs> So, today we're talking about one of everybody's favorite topics, and that is the anal attresses or defects. So, out of, I think this is one of the things that I do not have an issue with that I was very lucky that I did not have. So, I forgot to mention, I'm stupidly, uh, basically, um, if you have, I believe it was four out of four characteristics out of all of them, then that's when they know you have Peter syndrome. So I forgot to mention that in my, uh, my, my part two. Um, yeah, if you have at least four of the characteristics, then that's when they know you have, um, blood association. I'm pretty sure that was it. So, uh, yeah, anyways. Turn off the phone and uh, grab the notes and let's get started. So, uh, anal atresia or defects. Uh, this is the imperforated anus is seen in 55%. So, this could mean from one to like this. This could mean a whole bunch of things. So, this could mean um, uh, like I think I so okay. I have my notes here, so I'm going to be looking down a lot. So some of them, uh, there could be like a thin covering over the anus hole that blocks the opening. There's no passage way between the bottom of the large intestine, the rectum, um, and anus. So stool can't pass from the intestine out of the body. So basically it means that there's uh, obviously blockage and there's no way for it to be, um, you can't exit the body. Um, a lot, I, I know there is a case, I don't know if when I was in the hospital or if my grandma told me or something, but I remember somebody telling me at least there was a young boy that, um, everything was on the outside, um, like they weren't born, like, you know, they weren't born with their large intestine and everything on the inside was on the outside, so then they, um, had to put it back in and, um, obviously he is doing well and, um, yeah, they did that, they caught, you know, when he was born like that, they immediately did emergency surgery, and, um, since then he's been doing well. From what I heard last, but, that uh, could be, you know, what well, I'm praying and hoping. Um, but yeah, a lot of the time, this one is noted in, um, like, right when they're, uh, born. Um, and a lot of them, uh, they require uh, surgery the day of the day, like, right after they were born and um you know obviously that's very difficult for the mothers and the family um but it's something that if they can do it most of the time if they do it right away they're seem to not like not that they're not come but they seem to have a better chance at like you know recovery better um but uh yeah so and then if you if there's you can't see anything and uh, the doctors haven't found anything. Uh, basically, uh, there's symptoms to look out for and um, you have like a swollen belly when nothing is being uh, remo removed from the body. Uh, so the belly gets swollen, uh, vomiting because there's nowhere else for anything to go. So, you know, and uh, no bowel movement or very uh, few. So that would mean if there's any sort of issues with blockage and stuff. Um, you know, it could mean like they don't, the baby doesn't can't go, or um, you know, if they do it very little, and it all depends on the on the on the patient as well. And uh, yeah, so this is one that I do not have, so I do not have as much information to share with you. 
but obviously uh, this is the safe place or I'm hoping this is the safe place that you and I can discuss this. So if you guys have any comment, questions, concerns, then please let, them know, uh, let me know down in the comments so we can create a discussion because uh, I definitely would love to, you know, you know, talk to you guys about this and um, yeah, so uh, I hope you guys are this video. I know it's not everybody's favorite topic, but it's one that we have to discuss. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, because we have plenty more of these videos coming up. And uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on any of my social, social media links, they're all listed down in the description, along with Theodore and Ryan. And yeah, we love to have you. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah.